Uh, and you've got to be able to get through the thick and the thin. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. You're going to have some tough spots in your in your business, which you should be thankful for because that does thin the herd. It, it gets rid of the weak hands in the business. But understand that you're most likely not um, uh, immune from that happening to you as well. That is going to be a part of the business that you have to deal with. And the point is, is this. It's easier to deal with the downs, the lulls, the rough spots in the business when you've got money in the bank. One of the most important things you should do in addition to selling a high commission product is to make sure you're saving way more money than you think you should. You, and, and this is personal advice that I would give all of you that I realized and I wish I would have pursued a lot sooner, is this business got a lot better when I had 50 grand in the bank. When it was less than that, very stressful. Uh, because some weeks, you know, it's like you have a bad week. You look at your bank account. You're like, crap, this sucks. <laughs> I hope I can make it. What am I going to do to pay my rent? Uh, and the first time around, I had to fail out of the business because I ran out of money. I had like 90 bucks in my bank account. And I got away from the fundamentals. I didn't follow things like I should have, which contributed to my failure initially. But having money on hand is crucial. Uh, I didn't start with it. Most people don't. Uh, you know, you got to start where you're at. But you've got to be judicious in saving your money and not spending it on wasteful things because survival and thriving in this business very much correlates with a big bankroll. So you've got to purposely, uh, with effort, build it as a brand new agent. Uh, the more money you've got on hand, if you've got a bad week, it's like, hey, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And having that mentality is so important because much of this business really ultimately comes down to, in the long term, the mindset how do you look at things? How do you perceive things in adversity and how you handle yourself when things go rough? Because it's not like you'll avoid it. You'll be go through rough times too. Everybody does. But how one handles it is a differentiator for success and mediocrity and failure.